Hey guys, this is a walk around of a 2019 Skoda Superb Sportline wagon. Um, sorry for the background noise, reason being it's raining quite hard outside, so I do apologize anyhow. Towards the front, you got some really nice black delts, bar Z on headlamps, as you can see. You also have a really nice pattern in there. Kind of reminds me of those old whiskey glasses. That sort of um, the pattern that they have on them. It's quite nice. Got this really nice um, looks like a metallic black trim that surrounds the grill over here. It's a little hard to see here. Headlight washers. You have four parking sensors integrated into the front bumper there. This car has a fuel consumption of 7.3 litres per 100 k's. It's also a petrol. Engine's displacement size is a 2 litre TSI. 206 kilowatts engine. It's quite powerful at a 2 litre. Wow, it's quite a lot. Combined 9.1, sorry, um, urban 9.1, extra urban 6.3. The wheels, these are optional, but on this particular model has these sorts of wheels. Blacked out. And you got this sort of um, I can see a little bit of a brushed aluminium finish. You can't really see in this sort of level light. It's very subtle. Yeah, you can't see it from here, but a little brushed sort of effect. Ties you see there are Pirelli. Centrino P7 tyres. They are, let's see here, there's a rim like 19 inch wheels. And try and check where they're made in. I'm not too sure where they're made in. <coughs> but um, yeah, anyhow, 19 inch wheels. Got rubber there. Nice. Sportline, as I mentioned. So I'll show you the standard equipment. So the one you see here is a superb Sportline. These are all the standard equipment, as you can see here. This one has those wheels, so I believe it's got these Supernova wheels, sunroof as well. So as well. Colour here is um, moon white, I believe, not candy white. Yep, this one has moon white. It's slightly different than candy white. Metallic black side view mirrors. Got some more blacked out trim. Refracts also blacked out as well. Here's the rear of the car. Let's bring out the key fob. So it's a keyless, obviously a keyless car. I mean, yeah. Let's unlock the doors. All chrome. Standard lock unlock. If I pull this, obviously, if you can see your key system fails, it's a bit hard to pull out, but you've got yourself a manual key as well, so you can still open the door. So nice. Hot plastics, they're chrome. Show you the tail lights here. Also, you have that same sort of pattern. 
as we saw in the front. Let's go down. I think I might press the lock button. Superb 4x4. Dual exhausts. Also, you have four parking sensors as well. Reversing camera. So it comes with five year unlimited kilometer warranty. Powered tailgate. Prevents people from slamming the door. So, lots of room, as you can see. So, you've got some dividers here, you can stick them like that and you can have storage if you like, which is actually quite handy. Here houses all your toolkits and stuff, which I don't want to pull out. You've got illumination and like other Skoda models, you can also take this out and you can turn into a mobile torch, so it's pretty cool. And you can charge there. You've got some hooks here, very handy. Got another one here. You have a 12 volt power outlet here. No, two more here. They feel very solid too, so it's good if you've got, you know, suits or whatnot. First aid kits here. And all that. You also have four hooks here, which is also very useful if you want to tie down large, large items. Six actually, um, not two more here, I didn't actually see that. Space over spare tire and your tool kits in case you need changes. These two fold down, so you can pull this little toggle here. Comes down, you can do the same thing on the right side. And those two come down as well. And it's, it's probably because the front seat isn't... Oh. I keep forgetting this every time. Double click twice. Oh, right. So, that part actually won't... That's because it's it's got that little part there, but the seats do fall down very flat. Can't exactly demonstrate because I'm now going to have to remove the center part of the smartphone holder, so... They do fall down flat, which is really good. It's really handy. Carpeted heel. Mm, nice. Didn't mention power tailgate, so if I press this. Closes. That's the shot. And you can obviously fold them from the inside. So if I just pull this toggle and come down, this would fall down flat, but then I have to remove this and I don't want to really do that. So obviously this will fold if you remove that, but yeah. So it'll be nice and flat here. Yes, there's a little bit of a ridge, but a little too flat, which is good. Show you the interior. solid. Displays a little video. Full CD display cluster as you can see that's also an option. Right. Yep. So you've got all your controls and whatnot. I can show you towards the front. Hard to see. Obviously you've got your temperature gauge for the engine to the left, right is obviously your fuel gauge, and then you've got your speedo and your and your rev counter. So it's what's cool about here is you can actually display your navigation details right in front of you, opposed for looking left all the time, which is quite handy. You got a leather wrapped steering wheel. It's also perforated. Sorry about the color balances because the lighting, let's see if that helps. Helps a little bit. It's all perforated. It's also got this nice silver stitching. 
Let's see if we can focus that. Yeah, there you go. It's got that flat bomb style steering wheel, very sporty. Nice. Pulse shifters, so minus plus, if you want to change the gears yourself. Towards the left, you got your headlight indicator controls. Feels very solid. And you've got your wipe controls to the right. So you can obviously scroll through the different modes. Kill that. And you also have a little video that plays. Very cool. Gloss black trim. All the buns feel very solid. Soft touch dash. Press this button here. You've got a padded glove box. It's quite handy. It's also cooled, so you're going to pull cool some drinks. Got this nice trim here. The sport line badging. Turn the UI. Quickly show because the battery is a bit low because they always keep these cars on most of the time. Do the movie spot line. Let's see if we can do that. There you go. That helps the camera a little bit. Let it start up a little bit. Home. So you've got, what I like is they actually have got actually all these pictures, it actually looks nice. Radio, oh, don't show again. Radio. So I'm doing that to prevent copyright. You can see. Oh, sorry, mate. That's alright. So it's um the audio is um pretty good. As you can see. Good navigation. So I'll support suburb. You can see it's quite responsive, which is really good. You can put your addresses, so you can see it's quite fast, you got Smart Link, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that there, you can see. You've got your traffic updates, whoops. You've got lots of stuff, so pretty cool. Cup control. So, all that's there. Your different modes, seat, heated seats, recycling, all the buns feel very solid. I clicked all the buns at the same time. Very nice. Gonna rush a little bit today, unfortunately there's a customer waiting. 12 watt power outlet, USB, you have some rubber matting here. DSG. So you've got a leather shift boot. Got some storage here for small drinks or coffee. Obviously it doesn't fit my bottle, that's because it's a really funky looking size but you've got plenty of storage on the sides here which is actually really great so it checks out so you close also textured here which is good and it also has a little indentation here which is useful so the cup doesn't wiggle about got a leather armrest here with some gray stitching also up you've got a cooled compartment as well which is very handy so you can also cool your drinks in here got some more additional storage so you actually want to take this out, hide a couple of small things in there. The seats, you can see they are leather point seats. Some grey stitching. Also they are perforated. 
feel very nice. They also got the diamond pattern. Also a very good touch. Interior illumination might light up again because the battery is low, which is unfortunate. Some more everything as well. Sunroof, as you can see. Door card or Alcantara. Soft touch trim here. Switches. Show you here it's the stereo system. It's actually very clear, the audio. All padded here too. Also, you have a little bin here, really good if you got little bits of like trash or something, and whatnot. So, if let's say you have a candy bar or something like that, if you want to snack on, you can easily chuck the rubbish in here and dispose when you're on time. Memory seats. Also, you can adjust the seats electronically, as you know. And that's just to adjust the bolstering. Sorry, the lumbar support, which is very good. That's right, the customer waiting, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit quick, guys, fortunately. Whoop, this is a lock in place. So same as the front seats, as you can see, it's also perforated, which is also really good. Also, you get that nice diamond stitching. Leather as well. Oh, I do this purposely just so people can see, because a lot of people like to care, like to see the quality. Got a smartphone holder, holder um, which is removable, I believe, but I don't know how to remove it. That's why I couldn't exactly put down the... Um, yes, so not exactly, but you can see you got pass through, which is useful for skis, if you have to do snowboarding and whatnot. Pockets here, rents for the rear, which is also handy, so you can direct hot or cold. And you've also got a little LCD display that shows all the information. 12 volt power outlets. You also have, as you can see, if you want it, sunshades. Some cars don't have them, but very useful, especially when you got a lot of glare coming inside the car cabin. Got good storage here. Good for drinks as well. I'll just show you the dashboard from the receipts. Sorry guys, I've seen had to rush a little bit because there's a customer who wants to see this car. So it's a bit unfortunate. No. Oh. Sometimes they change around. Most European cars on the left, but I've noticed they started now changing them to the right side, so I'm just used to having it on the left. So you pull this handle here. I can show you. The this one the struts, love the struts, makes it so much easier. So I can show you the engine. It's a 2 liter engine that has a 206 kilowatts, which is crazy out of a 2 liter engine, that's insane. It's a lot of power. Engine, yep. Well that's my little walk around of the all new. 2019 Skoda Superb Sportline Wagon. I'm um, sorry for the mistakes during the video and um, I was a little bit rushed. This car is for sale at Eastside Skoda. I'll leave the details in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video and um, thanks for watching. Cheers.